Welcome to Average Gear Review. Real quick guys, just remember this is just one in a series of videos that we're doing. So make sure that you like the video, leave a comment down below, tell, let me know what knife you want to see next, and make sure you subscribe with your notifications turned on so you can follow along with the series. Okay, let's get back to it. But the best gear is the gear you have on. And what is up guys, it's your Average Gear Reviewer here back with another quick little unboxing for you. And this black monolith standing next to me is, well, it's not from the movie 2001. It's actually a, there's a knife in here. It's uh, something pretty cool. It's a fixed blade from SDOK EDC. Um, it's called the DC-53. And I actually had to research the metal that's in this knife. So uh, stick around to, uh, and I'm going to get into that here in a little bit. But, uh, you know, we're con continuing on with the new knife month. This is going to be the fourth video in the series. If you've missed the other ones, be sure and check on those. Uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the this knife from SDOK EDC. Um, super cool little fixed plate. I can't wait to open it up and check it out. So anyway, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, we're here at the top down view and I bet you thought I forgot, but I didn't. Welcome to the channel and welcome back to the channel, guys. If it's your first video, thanks for so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Uh, for all my longtime viewers, good to see you guys back. And uh, without further ado, let's get into this box. Um, like I said, this is a knife that I kept seeing on Instagram and Facebook. I've seen a couple of posts of guys um, posting fixed blade knives, and I just thought they looked really nice. Um, so you got, got a little bubble wrap here inside the box, and uh, the box is not marked at all. Um, it is a fairly nice box, but has no markings of any kind on the outside of it so it literally could be anything in there but i digress so um you can see right away it does come with a really nice really nicely mold molded sheath with real good belt clip on it um of course i would probably want to trade this out with uh an ulti clip slim or something like that but uh this is definitely workable to put on uh, maybe a combat belt range belt or just your regular everyday belt looks like it does have spacers in here so that you can make those wider say if you wanted to put it on like a your belt for your gun range or for the gun range or something you take these little spacers out and it will fit on there but um yeah nice looking little kydex sheath looks pretty well made and the knife itself looks like it it's so sharp it poked through its own packaging <laughs> <laughs> it oh man i really really like this just take a minute to just appreciate it this is one of those companies that uh, i had never heard of before it's sdok edc i'd never heard of these guys before but uh, looks like a very well-made little knife. I'm really hoping this isn't a copy of another knife. And if it is, I, I don't know what knife it's a copy of. I think it's just sort of a, a basic fixed blade, everyday carry type of knife. Um, this model, particular model is called the DC-53. And it actually features DC-53 steel. That's one of the reasons that I had to do research on this video because I was not familiar with DC-53 steel at all. Um, and uh, I'll get into that a little bit if you're a knife nerd, hang out uh, for a minute and I'll, I'll go over some of the differences between this and D2. Um, but let's go to the particulars of the knife. So you're looking at a 3.31 inch nice clip point blade. Got some really nice jimping on the back of it here. It looks like it's in just the right places for your thumb. And if you want to choke up a bit up here as well. So very well thought out jimping there on the blade, but it is a 3.31 inch blade, 0.12 inches thick. So you can see it's a not too thick, but not too thin. It seems like it would be really good for uh, like everyday use applications and maybe even some uh, light bushcraft survival type stuff as just, uh, you know, 
everyday carry fixed blade. I will say that um, these pins they've got in here are really solid looking. And that looks like, I'm not sure what size those are, but we'll check that. Um, it is a full tang, by the way. So it's a full tang construction on the knife. And then <coughs> you've got some G10 handles and some really thick ones too. You can look at the thickness there. Um, get some really nice thick handles on it. They're contoured out well here for your forefinger to go. And it just feels very nice in the hand. Um, even this back part, the way it kind of sweeps up a little, you can see it kind of sweeps up towards the back and it just gives that sort of wedged in feeling into your palm. It's very nice. Um, reverse grip, it still feels really good and you can wrap your thumb right around the end of that. And like I said, it, you can see the full tang construction there. I mean, it goes all the way even past, actually past the end of the scales there. So, um, yeah. Let's try it out in the sheet and see how the fit is. Is it going to click? I'm waiting for it to click in there. Is there something in the sheath, maybe? No. Oh, okay. It, 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 it clicks in. It's just very silent. You don't hear it. Uh, it's not a real stiff retention either. Probably need to um, maybe tighten these up and that might bring that in a little tighter. For me, that's, I'd really want it to be a little tighter than that. Especially since you have this thumb ramp to push off of. You know, you could make it nice and tight for good retention and still be able to break it with that. But um, yeah, that retention is, I mean, it, it stays in there. So, I mean, I guess, you know. But when you pull it, it just comes right out. So, um, again, I wasn't real familiar with this, this knife or this company when I ordered it. I just thought that it really looked like a nice, uh, like a nice fixed blade for everyday carry. And um, does seem really nice. I love the shape of the blade and the handles together. It's just very, very ergonomic and it's very clean, minimalist design. I like the black G10 scales. Um, this is a black stone wash finish that they've got on the DC-53. Um, and so, yeah, let's get into that. The DC-53 steel. So this is the best that I can find from researching. And I'm sure somebody's going to correct me in the comments to the video. But um, this is what I was able to find with my research. Is that um, DC-53 is basically D2 on steroids. Uh, it's also known as D2 Supreme. I've seen it um, on some of the places I researched. It was called D2 Supreme. And that's basically because it, it's uh, very similar to D2 in, um, in sort of its application and uses. Uh, it's a die cast metal, just like D2 is. Um, but it is it basically outperforms D2 in every way. It's harder. It's tougher. It has more wear resistance. Um, the main thing I've seen about it is it is a bit hard to sharpen. So um, it'll hold an edge for a really, really long time, supposedly. But once it goes dull, um, it, it takes a little bit of doing to get it sharpened. So that's sort of the trade-off. If you know about any kind of the tougher steels, um, you'll have a hard time getting those back to just a really good razor's edge. Uh, unless you really know what you're doing with a sharpener you know, but, um, I'm really not an expert as far as that goes. So this one overall, uh, you know, you're looking at a little less than an eight inch knife. It says it's 7.87 inches long. That seems about right. Let's check that, um, about a 3.31 inch blade looks like, and, um, uh, the handles are 4.72. So altogether you get that 7.87 overall um as they're saying the weight of it is 3.6 ounces and i will say it's not um, doesn't feel very heavy at all it feels pretty light um the balance though i will say because this is something that i think matters the balance you can see is really far back of, of the blade so it's not uh it's got a really heavy set of handles on it apparently because it's not balanced 
towards the middle. Now it is just behind that finger troil, but the balance is going to be sort of where your middle finger is here. So um, it does give it, a, it still has a nice nimble light kind of feel to it. Um, but I think maybe a little bit more balance might be a little better. And, and these, um, you know, I might grind these. Yeah, I'm going to do that probably. I'm going to grind these scales out a little bit. And I think some weight reduction there would probably bring the balance a little more towards the blade. But uh, yeah, it seems super cool. I love the shape of the knife. Um, just the overall look of it. It's very clean, very clean looking. So um, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. What do you think about the look of it? Um, let's try some cutting on it and see how it's going to do. Oh, man. Guys, this thing is scary sharp. I don't know if you can see those curly cues. That is like, woo. That thing is sharp. Man, it's sharp. Holy cow. Man, I was not expecting that, y'all. This thing is like ridiculously sharp. Like it's it's almost scaring the paper into cutting itself. It's so sharp. Um, let's try it on some of this crappy notebook paper I've been using. Just nothing seems to want to cut it, and I kind of like that. It's more of a challenge. Yeah, no problem. No problem for the DC-53. No problem whatsoever. You guys can see that. it's. Uh, I'm barely touching it. Just like, like I said, it's, it's essentially scaring the paper in half. This is fun. This is really fun. <laughs> you could cut curly cues. You could cut... Corners, curves, whatever you want to do. That thing is like surgically sharp, y'all. Surgically sharp. Um, maybe I, I don't know if I want to do a size comparison on these or not. I don't really have um, another knife that's similar to this size. Let me see here. Okay, so yeah, guys, I do. I've got, I've got one knife that's about this size. I've got this. Pendleton Light Hunter from Cold Steel. So it, it's it's similar to that same size. And if you guys know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. It's sort of a, it falls into that EDC fixed blade category where you could easily carry this around for sure. Um, as just an everyday carry on a belt or whatever. But it would also make a great knife for a bug out bag or for gun belt um, for just out in the woods. This is one of those knives that's going to be, it's just going to last a long time. It's going to hold an edge for a really, really long time. And right now it is razor, razor sharp. I don't know exactly how they're doing that over at the factory, but uh, SDOK, EDC, you guys are definitely sharpening these things right. Um, if you guys want to pick one up, as always, there'll be a link down in the description if you're interested. Um, this again is the fourth knife in the series that I'm doing right now. So if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you can see what the next knife out is going to be. Um, I've got 11 more of them to get through. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Having a, having a lot of fun opening them and, uh, discovering some new stuff that I just wasn't really tapped in with. And, uh, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun, but, uh, it, it's a little bit stressful. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. If you know, you know. And remember what I always say, always be carrying and the best gear. That's right. It's the gear you have on you. Average gear reviewer, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Average gear review. But the best gear is the gear you have on you.